Welcome back, dear viewers. You are still watching Cairo Local Time, and in the segment of our program, we are going to talk about the Nile cruise tours in Egypt and uh, it, uh, they are the most uh, popular uh, tours for all tourists from all uh, the world and a trip down the river Nile is one of the best ways to know more about ancient Egypt and historical sites. We are joined today by Mr. Walid Ibrahim, he is a tourism expert. He will tell us more about the beauty of this trip. Good afternoon. Sir. Good afternoon. So, uh, sir, uh, sailing uh, on board Egypt uh, Nile cruises, uh, we will have the chance to visit fascinating attractions in uh, ancient Upper Egypt. So, can you elaborate on it? Yes. Uh, first of all, we would like to just give a quick note about uh, the cruising, our Nile cruising, our touring on the Nile. Mm. It's very, very, very uh, nice thing to be done especially if you start your tour from Cairo you I, I think this is new yeah yeah it not, was not, not operated no 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 it's not new it was operated but the, the problem was the idea of that night cruise part is very important in addition to the classic regular tour or sightseeing in Cairo mm. in the past most of the guests they prefer to come to Cairo to spend like two days and then they go to the Red Sea as an example yes but going to Luxor, going to the Nile itself, it was one of the challenges, the programs, the new programs mm. added to the, the whole scene. Mm. So the client started his tour in Cairo. Now his guide gave him like a brief about the history, the ancient history. But he had to go there to see the trip or the journey between the east and west bank of the Nile, because that's another story. When the ancient Egyptian started to build their temples in the east side and then they cross to the west, side, west bank side to bury their bodies in the uh, tombs there. That's the idea. That's the journey of the goddess moving from uh, the east side to the west side. That's number one. Number two, if you go to Luxor, you start your trip by Luxor, you go to Luxor there, you found the uh, Luxor temple, uh, Karnak temple, and Karnak temple is not a, a regular temple. It's complex. It's full of very small, tiny temples inside. So that's why it's very famous in the history. And now the new project, which is the new way linking between Luxor temple and Karnak temple, that's the new project. If you can, in the past, you, the, the, the fairies used to walk from this temple to this temple. Uh, that's the new project done by the government now. They try to clear, they will be open very soon, maybe by the beginning of 2020. Back to the trap itself. So we call Luxor is the beginning or the start of our trap. You visit the valley and the, uh, the Luxor temple and uh, Koenig temple and you cross to the west bank, you see the Valley of the Kings and Valley so of the So we Kings. are talking now about the cruise from Luxor to Aswan. Yes. From we Luxor? haven't talked yet about Cairo. Yeah. Luxor Later. to Aswan. Yeah. Yes. Let's start by Luxor. That's, that's my cruise. This okay. is the most common one. Yes. The most common one. Yes. Go starting from Luxor to Aswan. to Aswan or from Aswan to Luxor. Luxor. Mm. And it differentiates between program and others. You mm. can start three nice cruises. You can go for four nice cruises. Mm. And if you can go for two nights, but that's with another type of uh, night cruise, which is Dahabea. Yeah. And we will call about the Dahabea, we'll talk about the mm. Dahabea later on. So you go to Luxor, you visit the Karnak as I told, Luxor Temple, and then you cross to the West Bank, you visit the Valley of the Kings, Valley of the Queens. It's the last two days, and mm. then you start your trip from Luxor. Okay, that's the first move. You sail on the Nile till you, till you arrive Isna. Isna and you know the famous lock there so the guest will have the chance to see how crossing the Isna lock and what is the Isna lock? Isna lock is you know it's a lock to differentiate the level of water uh -huh. from the high level to the down level of water. So we have two levels of water yes. in Isna? Yes. And it's a sightseeing? For yeah. Yes because the client go on board the ship and mm. they see you have to go inside the lock it's mm. only take two boats mm. and then you will wait until the door of the lock closed so the level of the water get higher 
and then after that you they open uh, mm. they open the door again and you continue your the trip and the famous temple of Esna so you have Esna and then the Esna lock mm. and then you go after that forward to uh, to see the eight foot temple mm. and then from eight foot and there are, uh, there are stops uh, every, yes. in Esna every is a stop yes. yeah eight foot temple is another stop, stop. okay and in Etfu, there is another beautiful thing, is that you go to the temple with horse carriages, yes. not cars or vehicles. Mm. Uh, and then you move from Etfu temple going to Komombo. Komombo is a very nice, another attractive temple because you go from the boat, you find the temple front of yourself. You, you, don't, you don't go by bus or by horse carriages or anything, you just walk. It's a walking distance from the boat, from the dock itself to the temple. Mm. And this temple is very nice at night because they lighting the old temple at night. And then after Kumambu, you take your boat again, the fourth and the last stop in Aswan. Yes. So you all this side. And it takes, I think, uh, three nights. You said four. Three yes, four four nights. Yes. Four nights to four go nights from Luxor course. to Aswan. Yes. And go back four nights. Yes. So uh, t uh, what if we take the boat from Cairo? Ah, yes, that's, that's a another... a different story. Yes, that's a different story. First of all, you have to know that... Are that they operating regularly, yes, these yes. Uh, trips from Cairo? Yes, and what? thanks for the government and the president, yes. the one who, who gave the, uh, the permission to, to sail that. from Cairo, yes, to Luxor and to Aswan, because in the past, you know, uh, yes. the bad the time was uh, the terrorists and all yes. the stuff that happened and the security was... The, hmm. But now, it's done regularly. And you can enjoy it because it's very nice to have. The, night, the idea from the night, the east and the west, you find that uh, the west bank is the, the tombs. And the east side is the greenery. So the old, the old way, yes, the old way to... You have greenery to and temples yes, yes. from Cairo to yes, Luxor. And yes. how long does it take? It takes like 10 days. Uh, one uh, leg only? Yeah, yes. And you come back in 10 days if we, yes. we take the same yes. uh, boat? But some, in some places like Minya, yes. like Minya, if you're passing by Minya, you found the, the tombs, it's, it's like reefed in, in, in the mountain itself. Mm. Uh, the scenery is it's very nice, uh, very nice trip. The greenery everywhere. Mm. I mean, this is one from the best places to go. Minya? And to do from, yes, of course, from Cairo. Yes, to do the cruise from Cairo to uh, Aswan. For 10 days? 10 days. And uh, it operates regularly, every week, every month, every day? Uh, because, you know... Or because according to demands? Ah, yes, according to the demands. It's not, of course, like in the past, mm. they used to do like uh, every uh, uh, month, like uh, two, year, two trips. And uh, because of the obstacles of the water, because you know that in the, su in the winter, the water go l down. lowest, mm. yes, down, and then in the summer go back again. So they have to take care of the draft of the boats. So the, it has a certain time during the year to do this trip. Hmm. So, uh, sir, uh, to what extent uh, these uh, kinds of tours uh, are attractive to tourists and uh, are they keen to, uh, to make it? Yeah. We have different type of guests, hmm. uh, different categories. Hmm. The guests would like the, uh, the sea, that yes. they enjoy the sea. Hmm. They go to the Red Sea. Hmm. And by the way, Red Sea is very famous for uh, Italians and Germans and so on so on. Mm. And there's a type of, of guest is they like and they prefer to do the classic programs which is uh, Cairo and uh, the night cruise between Luxor and Aswan and so on so on. So it's, it, it, it's different between Every guest guests. has its taste. Yes. In, yes. In if you want to go to, to, to enjoy the snorkeling and uh, the diving Mm. You go to Sharm el Sheikh to Ras Muhammad, and that's very mm. famous. Yes. And even sometimes they saw that Red Sea, Sharm el Sheikh, is not in Egypt. You yeah. see? Yeah, they, say, they, they think mm. that they are, it's not in Egypt. Yes. And some of the guests, you know, funny stories that sometimes we see comments from uh, guests when they arrived to Cairo, they were very surprised. Uh, we were about to think that uh, using the camel uh, moving in the street, not the underground. You have an underground, underground or you have cars and vehicles. So that you don't know that Egypt now is, is totally different than in the past. So that's, that's another story. So, uh, sir, uh, 
Now uh, we'd like uh, to talk about the, serv the services uh, uh, that uh, are offered uh, to uh, tourists in Nile cruises and the innovations that you do to the boats and how do you make them uh, more uh, comfortable to visitors? Okay, the boats is like a floating hotel. Yes. And hotel needs several services. Uh, yes. You have to meet and greet the, the clients well mm. till uh, the moment they arrive. And you know that because of the hot, the very hot and dry weather in Upper Egypt, you have to take care uh, by offering the guests uh, drinks and uh, cold drinks all the time. Uh, the food has to be very good and perfect all the time. Uh, and uh, going with the taste of the client itself, if, if the clients are coming from Europe, you have to offer international uh, buffets for them mm -hmm. uh, and to be ready with this. Uh, uh, the vehicles that taking the clients from the boats to mm. the sides uh, have to be clean and ready. Um, uh, the internet uh, has to be available all the time on board because you know uh, now the social media and everywhere and the client views would like to streaming and to sending their photos mm. from the sites yes. to their friends and family and relatives. That's another thing. So it's a total uh, hotel. Uh, a full hotel is uh, floating on the night, so mm. they have to be uh, ready and in a good shape. So, uh, sir, finally we have only uh, two minutes. Uh, tell us some of your uh, uh, recommendations uh, uh, that uh, you think will benefit the tourism uh, sector in the coming period. Uh, okay, uh, one of the recommendations is to have like a train from uh, Aswan to Abu Sandal. Yes. That's, that's a, a step or an idea needed to be done urgently yes because you only have like from three to four flights maybe three or two sometimes take the guest from Aswan to Abu Sambal hmm. 45 minutes yes and then they go there and visit the temple so the temple is open from nine seven o'clock in the morning eight o'clock in the morning close at four and that's it and there is a sound and light but the chance to do the sound and light in Abu Sambal it's very uh, little because the flight, the last mm. flight go at two. So they need to do a train from uh, Aswan to Abu Sambal and vice versa. So uh, also, uh, sir, um, uh, how can we make more promotions for these tours? Are we promoting for Nile cruises abroad? Are we doing our job in this? Yes, I think the Minister of Tourism now, yes. they're doing a great job in all the conferences and uh, that they attend. Uh, the word of mouth uh, yes. from the guests that they, they, they come and visit it uh, each before when they go home. Uh, they tell their friends and family and relatives. Uh, and of course, our good security and our good uh, social media uh, will add to the uh, yes. subject. And we will have more and more tourists coming to you. So finally, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Walid Ibrahim, tourism expert. Thank you for being with us. Thank today. you. Pleasure. And uh, now, uh, dear viewers, uh, uh, by that we come to the end of uh, today's edition of uh, Cairo Local Time. Thank you for watching.